Hi everyone. You've probably heard me say on many occasions that arriving at the same point and at the same time isn't good. Um, effectively, if you take that a stage or a few stages further, if you do arrive at the same point at the same time as someone, you crash. But on that same sort of mindset, I came up with something just in normal teaching and it sort of mirrors what I'm saying about arriving at the same point at the same time, but it's in relation to roundabouts and when you should be picking a time to go or how you can be adjusting your speed to be picking a time to go or not. And this is what we're gonna be dealing with today. Not many times people are gonna be begging for traffic but this is really what I'm, uh, I'm after with these scenarios uh, um, we've got round about here we're up in Kirby and we're going to see whether there's any vehicles coming round and even now I'm adjusting my speed for the silver one because the silver one could come on is that black one going to come round now notice I'm holding back now because I'm trying to fit into the gap after now that wasn't really decision point um, that one wasn't coming round so I didn't know where it was going but the same sort of things apply to what just happened there I'm gonna go ahead at this roundabout it's the second exit and if there's a vehicle coming round the inside again we don't want to arrive at that same point decision point with the Mercedes yes and it can flow into the space So what I was able to do there, I wasn't certain because of the Mercedes lack of signal. And this is one thing I'm forever saying, don't rely on signals, rely on what people are doing. But there's bits and bobs that you can do with your approach that allow you time to go a little bit. So hopefully you notice what I was able to do there with the Mercedes. I was able to hold back until I knew the Mercedes was going in this road nearest me the one that i'd just come out from that then allowed me to flow on nicely and that all happened because i was away from the give way and i slowed down a little bit more so effectively if you slow down more you've got a better chance of flowing on so i've made my way back round to this same roundabout where mercedes was just then and we're going to have another little go i'm going to try and do a right turn so we're looking round the opposite side for potentially people coming around this inside of the roundabout so the tesla i've held back until i knew it was going and then i was able to make a move no problems if you continue at your same rate and get yourself to the giveaway line at the same point as that vehicle the question vehicle makes their decision to either come round or go into your road and I know they've already made their decision it's pretty obvious that that's going to happen from their perspective but the point is we don't know but if you arrive at that giveaway line at that point where they make the decision and go one way or the other if they come around in front of you you've got to stop there's no adjustability I'm doing the same with the black one I held back early to allow myself to flow through a little quicker Let's just quickly have a look at some mini roundabouts. Not sure. Van, not sure. So notice what I'm doing, I'm holding back. Signaled early, am I able to flow? Yes, I am. So signals do honestly make a fair bit of difference, but you can't rely on them because as we've seen, people don't signal well enough, do they? So that last roundabout had a brilliant view to the right hand side and because of that i'll let you go buddy you crossing you're all right so yeah um that last roundabout had a brilliant view to the right hand side but what happens when your view isn't as good well it's quite simple it can be the same process but your speed just has to slow down a hell of a lot more um I'll look at this one i can't see anything to the right but i now can and I was just looking at the one from this side who had the right signal on, just in case they were gonna do a U-turn. 
but again, because my speed was slow enough at the correct time, I had enough time to work out that their speed was too quick and they were going in my road, therefore I could go. Have a look at the view as we approach this next roundabout. It's even worse to the right hand side, so again the same process happens but I'm at, I'm at even a lower speed. Could a stop? Yes. Done. So do you tend to find yourself arriving and stopping at many roundabouts where other vehicles around you just keep flowing? My guess would be that you don't do this quite well enough. Final little piece of advice. Start this early. Start looking on the approach early. If you arrive at the roundabout and then start looking, you won't have time to adjust. You won't be able to fit into spaces. And try and pick up on many things not just the signals people just stare at signals so let's have a little look at this one the uh, audi come around the inside it's super slow i think it's going into my road and look at the driver in front they didn't in the end because they couldn't fit in but they wanted to and that is the perfect example because the vehicle in front stopped where honestly they probably had enough time to flow out good on the audi in the end for uh, going all the way around I'm, uh, I'm going to find my way in here. This one's just uh, barging the way out. But anyway, uh, good on the Audi in the end. They were decided to abandon and go all the way around. Um, perfect. But um, honestly, this skill is needed by many. Just try and alter your speed on the approach. And give yourself that time to make that decision. Keep safe, everyone. I'll see you soon.